Well, hello, and welcome to Season 2 of All Terrain Tires Only. Well, kind of Season 2, kind of Season, just Season 1 and a half. Because <clears throat> I'm not really done with Michigan, I kind of am, but I'm not. But anyway, you probably already clicked on the video and thought, You're an idiot and you're a dumbass. I am. <laughs> and, as you probably saw for the title, and I'm... Probably actually gonna make a thumbnail for this, and I'm probably gonna keep it through the whole thing. Hopefully I will. Hopefully I do. But again, I'm doing... I can't believe I'm about to say this. Imrida, the hardest map in the game so far. Oh, God. Nope, my one. Oh, where is it? Oh, my. I'm doing this map, Imrida. It's only all train tires. Now... I'm not going to do the full map, I'm only going to do two of the contracts. And kind of open up the map a little bit, I'm probably going to do that too, but I'm only going to be doing two of the contracts. I'm only going to be doing Price for Victory, and the other one that lets you get, that's the one about getting the plane. I'm only going to be doing those two, mainly because if I do anything else, I will probably go insane. <laughs> well, just because, well, it's because... I got this truck off camera, and I did it with all the train tires only. Should have recorded it, but I didn't think to do it, but... I got this truck off camera in Alaska, and it took about all day to get just this truck. <laughs> and I was about to kill somebody or something, just because this truck was a bitch to get. <laughs> but, as you can see, I'm just... Pretty much everything here right now, I'm pretty much pretty much what I'm gonna end up using here. This truck's gonna end up being a scout truck, obviously. More than likely. Even though I can't use a radar turtle with it, but I'm not that worried about it. So obviously I actually grinded up my grinded up this profile too to level eighteen. I think that's what it's on I can't see from here. I'm blind, basically. <laughs> I'm a skip blind idiot. But yes, I believe I'm eighteen, so I grind up to get this truck because the Vaughn Grand can have 50-inch tires on its normal suspension, and I thought that'd be helpful. More tire, more traction for the most part. <clears throat> uh, obviously got the Warthog, obviously I'm probably going to be using the Twin Steer and the P12s for the most part. For the most part. <clears throat> and then I have the, this, this thing, I, I don't want to try and attempt to say because I could have said the wrong thing somehow since the day before, but I'm going to be using this truck more or less as a backup truck, just like the Von Grant is, the Von Grant is going to be a backup truck, <clears throat> just like this thing is going to be, obviously because it's a 6x6 is what it's called, or, oh, no, 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 6x6, 8x8, duh, I'm an idiot, <clears throat> but yeah, so 8x8, so that'll be, obviously that'll be more than likely helpful. <laughs> Now, I also have one other rule that I'm probably going to do if I just can't do it. I'm going to allow one truck with tire chains if I have to. If I just cannot do something, I will allow one truck, just one, with tire chains. <laughs> and if it can, I'll only put them on the back. Granted, that mostly only just does stuff with putting them on the front. For the most part, it really only does stuff with steering, but it can still help with an all-wheel drive truck. So, okay, sun, night, morning, and wait, yes, yeah, so we're in right here, since we gotta do this first, we're gonna be doing this first, obviously, I haven't gotten the thing actual, just actually gotten the thing at all, just cause I figured, probably should be good to do it on camera, I haven't even scouted this, <laughs> and if you're curious, I opened the garage up in the two blooper episodes I made. Two blooper weird episodes I made. If you want to go back and see how I actually got this garage with all these turn tires. I did it with... I don't remember, like, four or five trucks ended up being that many. All of them ended up... majority of them ended up being flipped over. <laughs> majority of them ended up being flipped over side wrecks. Had to be covered and drove over again. So I've had an exciting hit moment with that. I can already tell this is gonna be hard, mostly just because of the snow being snow and ice, which is 
to summon ice, not wanting to let me go straight. For the most part, the snow actually isn't that bad. For the most part, it isn't that bad. It's just a few spots for the most part, it just kind of slows you down a bit, but oh, that's not too bad. Off road is off road, so it's not gonna be that annoying, because it's gonna be annoying as it usually is, and I'm stuck on a tree, aren't I? And I already know which is gonna be my favorite thing in this entire map. <laughs> now, I have done Price for Victory and uh, the plane thing, the plane mission, by myself before. And that was off camera, but again, that was on my personal plate there where I just did whatever the hell. It was hard enough as is, so I imagine doing this, <laughs> I'm doing it now. It's probably gonna make me want to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it, honestly. And I'm pretty sure getting this thing's already gonna be suck, cause if I remember right. Getting there, I think part of the thing is just ice. And all my food videos. <laughs> pretty much just there's me fighting trying to get up a hill more than one time. Just trying to fight getting up a hill. No tire chains, and I'm stuck on a freaking rock. <laughs> uh, we're gonna flip over already. There we go. Boulders, my mortal enemy. God, I swear they are just they're just more violent enemies this game. Would help if I was a bit lifted, and if I actually had tires that actually had traction, that would help a lot. Instead of just having to lock my differentials and kind of pray. <laughs> But <laughs> kind of what I gotta do. Oh, I hope I can get to this thing again. You're probably gonna see this already, but this video's probably gonna be like an hour long because <laughs> I'm only gonna be doing the two contracts. Granted, I am probably gonna do the scouting off camera, but that's I don't know if I'm gonna do that off camera or not off camera yet. I'll decide in. 23 minutes. I won't say that because, you know, that's what my time is at. I'm gonna take a 30 minute break, or 10 or 20 minute break in 3 30 minutes because if I don't, I would probably hate myself. <laughs> and I actually remembered to put the actual pedal flinch on these trucks because originally I was working with one of the stock winches on one of the on, how oh, was it? One of the. Big International, the Offered International, the Offered the International Scouts that is an Offered truck in this game. I was using that with its stock winch. If you don't know how the stock winch goes, normally, well, if you never really upgraded or just use the stock winch because you don't care, there's a big, big difference between the stock winch and the stock winch. Like a very, very big difference. That's just an astronomically big difference between the two. Oh. The problem is, is I sold that truck. <laughs> and so, well, what I. The main trucks I used to open up the garage was the Western Star, the International, and one of the Russian Scout trucks. That one that's a 6x6. Six six. I don't remember its name. One of the cars, the cars thing, truck thing. Ah. But yeah, go watch Dad if you actually want to go watch me suffer. If you want to watch me speedily suffer. And I really wish them some good There we go. Also, it's just a little twig on the ground, basically pulling this thing. Granted, I probably said this before and the other things with me doing this before, but you could have a log do that if you make it. If it's A, a sturdy log, and B, if it's wedged in between two big boulders, I ain't gonna move. Or just wedged into the ground and something like that. You could probably do, you could probably do it. But just a free thing like that, you yeah, probably not gonna get far. <laughs> but that's just any kind of thing. That's right, I would probably tell you that. Or anybody who's ever been stuck. Is that a winch? If you like this happened before, I'm um, somewhere. <laughs> I actually almost got a tow truck. Because I lived a weird with doing life. 
a tow truck stuck in a cornfield. <laughs> Hilariously, a tire change, and it didn't have four wheel drive, all wheel drive, or anything like that. It just had tire change on it. And yes, I almost got that stuck on a field. I got yelled at for going that field, but you know, but, but I used to do it before, and nobody would say anything. But people do now. At the time, did so I was like, ah, well, oh well. <laughs> didn't. I don't have Mario. I don't have Mario. I did that in high school. <laughs> I didn't do it again, but I was showing off because I had a girlfriend at the time. She was on the truck, and I was showing off. So <laughs> I'm a guy. What can you say? I was just showing off because I'm a show off. I can't. Now I'm doing an all-terrain tire thing in 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 Rida. In Rida, in Rida. I don't know how to say it. How do you say it? What does it mean? How does it spell like? Uh, I'm not Russian, so I don't know how to forget. Where? Go back. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna keep calling it a murder. <laughs> I swear I pair on the map. Imurida, I'm just gonna keep calling it a murder, even though I know it's wrong. <laughs> I know it's wrong, I'm just gonna keep calling it that because I'm an American and I'm not a Russian. I don't know how to speak Russian. I just do it. I don't know how to speak the Slavic language. I'm an American. I speak Americanese and I speak very terrible Americanese. <laughs> As some would call it. I'm already seeing some problems with this truck just because the tires are super thin and I don't have a dually on the thing. But a dually on the back of this, it probably would help a lot. If you're curious, I'm not using the SM50 because I love that. A, I love that truck. I would be, well, why I'm not using it, there we go. I'm not using it because it doesn't have all terrain tires, it's only highway tires. And you can't go very far with highway tires. <laughs> you just can't. No matter how much you bitch you moan, you just you, you can't get very far with highway tires. <laughs> Even though I'd love to, but you can't. It'd be really nice if you could, but I know you can't, so I'm not even gonna attempt it. And even just getting that F750 is a bitch. <laughs> And again, with my challenge thing of doing what's only on tires, I would probably spend two days trying to get the truck. <laughs> Just to be kidding me. I mean, if the truck had all terrain tires, it should, but it doesn't, but whatever. Because, hmm. I mean, the international pay start can I So, I mean, I don't know why the SM50 can't, but whatever. Now yeah, that big girl. Almost the right tree. I don't know why I always do it in the push the thing in the back, because it'll still it'll pull the thing forward a little bit in a weird way. Uh, that'll probably push him to the right back. Yep, that'll make him go right back. If you didn't know this is a thing you can do at weird end of your life, if you just want to winch from a, like a back point, A, you could actually have a winch in your back, or you could actually run the winch from the front to the back in a price your hitch. Probably like 30 hitch or something like that. To actually get it. If you're curious, you can actually do that, so... I don't complain about the one twice so much. Because I know how to actually do that. Actually, not the hard to do it. Okay. Alright, P12. <laughs> Since I believe these one doing trucks, I... Uh, they can actually do this set I actually want to use. I was actually thinking about grinding all the way up to level 20, because if I have to go all the way to level 20, I can get the frame liner. Or the... Uh, more modern Freightliner? I don't know what a Freightliner is, it's like a... That Freightliner is like a, uh... Hell, what is it? Oh, it's like a... It's like a 90 to 2000... To 2000, like... 10 -ish? It's like a 2007-ish. I always call it a 2007, because it's a 2007. For the most part, to me. That, um, newer fr the Freightliner in the game. I just say it's a 2007 because it looks like a 2007. <laughs> Granted, Freightliner hasn't really changed her design that much. If you look at the trucks from the earliest years to these years, there's not much that much difference. There's not much difference. Or not too much difference. Surprisingly, these tires don't look like they have a good tread for this, but these tires well, do stick out wider than the other ones, and I just fit everywhere. So I'm an idiot, but yeah. I'm mean, using that they stick out water and they get more. Well, you get more uh, spread. 
<laughs> that keeps me on to be helpful. I have more stability with these tires. And I'm not holding the trailer with this because I'm going to do the twin steer to actually put both the uh, armored vehicles on that. Instead of trying to attempt to drive a trailer down here. <laughs> Even though I think that's kind of what I did originally. I don't even remember what I did originally. No, what I did it. I used one of the Russian trucks that I'm more trusting for use, but I used one of the Russian trucks. I had it with a normal, just a normal, uh, bed on the back, and then I had it with a car trailer. <laughs> so I did it originally for the price of the Surprisingly, I did the price of the not the price of the the plane one. I don't know what it's called, but I did that one with the very long horn. That was entertaining. But I had tire chains, and it was a lot easier. And I forgot I left a little checkpoint here because <laughs> I figured it would be a good idea. That's just a checkpoint because I was driving around with the Western Star and I was just easier for the, me to put a thing there. I believe I was doing the telephone. Yeah, I was doing the net telephone for the power line pole things. So I put that in there because I figured I was probably going to need a thing there because I have the time no garage. So, so I asked there. I didn't think I actually. No, I didn't edit any of that stuff with the Western Star because I was like, I'm done editing. <laughs> I don't want to edit, I'm just going to do... What did I do it up to the... I oh, don't stuck, wonderful. I did up to the power station revival? What the... Yeah, that's what I did. That's what I remember doing. I did it to those. But... Now, I said something in that that I don't regret saying. <laughs> But if I successfully pull this off, I would say that, that what I said in that is true. I will be the king of SnowRunner if I pull this off. Honestly. If I pull this off with only all three tires, I will swear I am the king of SnowRunner. Nobody can say otherwise. Getting rid of the map is a bitch. And getting the plane and the... Well, getting the plane parts and the, uh, these armored cars. It's not easy, to say the least. And honestly, I already did the blooper video of me doing the power station, and I had to do the other one with it anyway. Granted, I know someone's trying to say, Hey, you could've done it, she's off camera! Yeah, I know. But, you gotta take my word for it that I didn't. But I understand if you don't believe me. That's perfectly fine. But I'm already kind of showing... I kind of don't need those. I kind of know what I'm doing. I slightly know what I'm doing, and I slightly remember where the cars are, the armored cars are. I do not remember where the hell the plane is. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's gonna be the bitchy part. I don't remember where the hell the plane is. I'm on. I'm on B12. You can do it. You're basically just a giant semi truck. The whole thing is, it's just a giant semi truck. It's literally just two frames stacked on top of each other. With a bigger engine. Well, P12 is, but. Hey, P12 gets work done. I believe this is also a Canadian truck, because it does have the Canadian flag on it. I'm pretty sure it's at the floor. But it has a Canadian. Well, it doesn't have the Canadian flag, it has a Canadian uh, maple leaf on it, so. I'd imagine it is a Canadian truck, but. Or manufactured there, or something of the sort. That's a good idea if I actually paid attention. As you can also tell, I don't have the extra trans the better transmission for this thing because I didn't feel like going through the entirety of Alaska just to get the thing. <laughs> Even though I probably should have. Because I went through a lot of it just to get the ANK's upgrades, and I'm not even using the ANK. <laughs> and some of the other upgrades that were for the Hummer, but I'm not even using the Hummer. Because honestly, I don't really like the Hummer. I don't like the Hummer anymore. That's what I should say. I used to like it, now I don't anymore. Oh, why did I? I used to like it mostly because of the original. Well, not the original. But the Mud Runner for PlayStation. Or that was on consoles. That was fun. <laughs> that Mud Runner was fun. You never even got to change your tires. You were just stuck with what you got. I know on PC people have modded in those old those older trucks with the 255. I want the 255 so badly in this game. So all I want in this game is I want the 255. Nah, that's one of the problems. The truck is so heavy I can't really lift myself over the rocks anymore. So 
There we go. There we go. There we go. There's the gun. Now we're gonna be an iceberg trucker. No, even in the iceberg trucker show, that was a thing, by the way. But I hope it still is. I wonder if it still is. Don't make the iceberg truck is still a show. <laughs> I know it was. I don't know if it still is. But they, this is what they do. They drive on ice like this. But for the most part, they had snow on the roads, on their ice roads, so they just, well, they still had tire chains, maybe we come over the damn time, but tire chains do a shit ton more than you think. They do a shit ton more in real life than you think. And sliding like this is pretty much how driving on ice in real life is. It don't matter what tires you have, you don't got anything that digs into the, digs a little bit, it ain't gonna go nowhere. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't have- I'm surprised I don't have studded tires. Which are basically just- Which should be- well, okay. Studded tires are exactly what they sound like. You put studs in your tires. Or just bolts in your tire too. That can work too, but- Wouldn't recommend it. Those are actually legal in Colorado still. I don't know. Those are legal in Colorado. You can drive on the roof with those. If it's super snowing and all that. You can legally really drive them. But studded tires are a thing, and I'm surprised I didn't have studded tires in this. That's one thing I never really thought about, or really thought about before, but I'm actually kind of surprised we don't have studded tires in this game, and I'm stuck on rocks. I am not surprised by this. It was studded tires. Rocks, I swear, is just a mortal enemy of doing any challenge things like this. This truck, this big of a truck, you can have a fucking witch on this thing anywhere you have, anywhere you damn well please. More than likely you don't have electrical winches on it, you wouldn't have hydraulic winches, but... Well, granted you could do that, but it, that would be yeah, Let's see, if I remember right, one of them is over here. The other one's somewhere over here, I don't remember where. But it's, it's somewhere up here if I remember right. I think it's over here. <laughs> I think it's literally just over there. Uh, let's just go get... The structure jobs pretty much just to find them, so I'm not gonna fit in that with a speaking myth, but I will fit through that. This thing kind of annoys me, this radar thing doesn't really work in the way that I feel like it should. You kind of just have to explore the area to find the shit, and it kind of annoys me. Because <laughs> you think it work like the. Oh, what was it? The. Uh, that, uh, vibrator thing. That sounds so wrong. Shut up. That, uh, seismic vibrator. There we go. <laughs> Where it vibrates the ground and gives you sonar. Okay. Be curious what the vib seismic vibrator actually does. Is it, with the vibrations in the ground, it pumps those into the ground and it lets you basically see an image of. It's basically kind of like sonar. In a cool, weird way, it's vibrations with sonar. Well, that's what sonar is, but. It's just really cool. If you ever want to look up what those actually do, they're really cool. Honestly, they're honestly really, really cool in real life. But yeah, so that's the thing with Sonic's but this thing doesn't really do that very well. Like, you can activate it right now, I think. Yeah, I can activate it right now, but... You'd think it'd give you any indication you were getting closer, farther away, but it doesn't. <laughs> Until you're, like, right on the damn thing, and it's really annoying! Oh, I wonder if those other tires actually make any dif- other all oh, tires actually make any difference, because... These tires just look bad, but they're wider. <laughs> they stick out farther and it makes... Oh, uh, just solve my sanity with the thing sticking out farther. This one you could pretty much tell it was gonna be here because of the location, and it's over there somewhere. Because it's just in this giant little wall around, pretty easy. I don't even know if this is an actual armored car or <clears throat> in real life. I don't know about it. I don't know Russian military that well. I know some of the things, but I don't know that well. Scan it. I found it. Of course I found it. It's right there. Uh, if I remember right, the other one's over here. <laughs> Actually, I can literally look up a picture of it that I... I'm one of the people who posted on Reddit the fucking picture of where it was, of where they were, so, 
I'm one of those people who actually just posted the picture instead of a video because nobody would post just a freaking picture. And now we're gonna get out of here with our tire chains and sliding like an idiot. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I may be stuck here in the ice. This is kind of funny. There we go. If I can do this and then kind of grab some kind of snow or something. There we go. Can't tell I play this game too much. I know enough about... I know enough about doing the stuff in real life. I could probably do what this guy's doing right now. Kind of. Granted, the only thing I would suck is giving out the truck every 10 seconds to switch. <laughs> and from the looks of it, you would, this is probably the tires you'd actually have on this, so you'd probably have tire chains. You would probably have tire chains. Because <laughs> they wouldn't make you suffer that much. Actually, tire chains would actually, you would have, I believe they'd be required. I know in the United States, especially in the wintertime, on many of the roads do require tire chains. Some of these actually require you to have tire chains on your uh, trailer, which is interesting. Which, it does do some things, but, I mean... It doesn't... Mm, tire chain chains are weird. Ty tire chains on trailers are weird. They do help a little. It's weird. I, I, I'm not the person who wants to tell you how to do that, because I'm not an actual driver. ever. I don't know how, how much they actually affect it, and I've never done it. So... I don't have to tell you on that one. I know some states actually require it. And actually some states actually require you to chain all your tires instead of just your drive tires. I, or just on some roads too. I believe in Colorado, or I, I believe you only have to do your drive tire. Yeah, you only have to do your drive. You only have to do your drive tires. I don't that because I've had to put drive tire chains in trucks a lot. <laughs> and repair them. That sucks. Trust me. Repairing drive tire chains. Sucks. Especially the freaking doubles. Oh god, the doubles suck. <laughs> we don't know what a double is since this truck doesn't have a dually on it, but if we had a truck that had a dually on it, I could pretty easily show it. Right. And another thing about the game, you only have surprisingly have singles. You only have the single tire chain, so you only have the one from the outside and the inside. Which, if you were doing this, you'd want the doubles. <laughs> you would want the doubles, because more traction, the better. Ugh. Well, granted, that's just any kind of driving thing. More traction, better. Oh! Where the hell is the other? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It was up somewhere, like, over... Is it up here? Yeah, it was. Cause I, had to, I was bitching about because I had to drive up the... Yeah, it's over here. I remember. Okay, I remember it's over there. I remember that, or I'll probably just take a picture in like a few minutes and all that. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make these episodes 30 minutes long or an hour long, so it's just going to be up to my brain. And if I don't want to murder anybody, so far as you can tell, it's going very easily, but it's just because I know where things are and I'm a decent driver. <laughs> I'm thoroughly surprised I haven't completely just flipped this fucking truck over yet. That's all the potion effects, isn't it? Look at this. Oh well. Uh, how the hell did I fucking fit this tree? It's a long ass truck. Imagine how six axes, well, instead of just double axes in the back, I just found three in the back. Truck's got the fucking room for it. The president never did, never did that, so he just went the double. Granted, just doing double works a lot on pretty much any truck. If you do and do triple, that you're pretty much a heavy, heavy hauler. You're a heavy, heavy hauler, which this thing would be. So it makes sense. So I don't know why. No, I did a double in real life. In real life, for the truck, so that was not the real truck. So I didn't do that in real life. Well, there pro I bet you there is a version of this truck with, with, the tr with three drive axles in the back. I guarantee it, actually. Oh, I guarantee it. Come on, it's just some ice. You're fine. You're fine. See, you're fine. Alright, well, you know, I'm pretty much gonna end it about here ish. 
I think if I can go, I think... No, it's not gonna get me anywhere, because I'm just getting blocked by trees. And I'm gonna have to go back down there, aren't I? I'm gonna have to go and leave it there. Oh, well, either... I'm gonna be either be taking a break, or this is gonna be the end of an episode, so... Bye for now? And you'll probably see about that. Just look up the video and you'll see if I actually... Editing, editing this into an hour long video, which just, it's just an hour long video, it's just an hour to edit together and so yeah. But, yeah, that's an episode. Bye. So, well, either hello to another episode or continuation of the other episode of first episode of this episode. I ah, fucking know. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm tired. It's like 8 ish and I'm already falling asleep. Shut up. Alright, well, if I remember right, I was gonna go, yeah, I was gonna go up over here, because I believe this was the other one of cars. I know that one was there. Uh, I'm not gonna remember how the hell I'm gonna get up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just gonna try and get up over there. That's probably the smartest move, since this truck's kind of big, and going a long way around generally ends better. <laughs> generally ends better, but... Sometimes a shorter route can be more fun. <laughs> and to hilarity. I actually found out with the, uh... Uh, when I got the Darren Longhorn, because I remember I did that off camera, and I set up that either part of this episode or last episode. There's a way you can get past one of the bridges just by literally going into the ditch and going back up. It's really not that far. <laughs> I found that out, and I'm so happy. I never knew that because I was, originally I always thought you had to clear one or two of the one one of the bridges to be able to actually get to the other part, but now you don't have to. <laughs> I was probably my one of my favorite discoveries. <laughs> Playing with the ultimate cards, probably one of my favorite discoveries. And let's see, I can probably make it up there. I'm gonna try it. And if I don't make it, that's just... Oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> that looked a lot worse than it was. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm going. Uh, there's a fuel thing over here, isn't there? Yeah, there is. That's place by the game. That's not place by me. That's just place by the game. <laughs> that looks like it needs to be fixed. Like, kind of now, because that's an active power line. And it's going into snow. Granted, it would test... Or if that's going in the ground, it's fine. It's going on the ground, it's perfectly fine. But, I mean... That looks like it could be a prayer <laughs> Well, I'm not the construction cure. I'm the delivery boy. So... Alright. Full it. I need it. There we go. Oh yeah, I'll just get right out of here, because I just recovered that one truck. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm not even going to care about the trailer. I'm just recovering the truck. Ah, that's why that's there. All of it in the... It's gonna be sucks trying to get the crane truck out of here with that, because I'm using another P12 with a crane <laughs> Oh god, that's gonna, that's gonna suck, because... Oh god, I forgot how terrible this is! I don't remember what fuck I used for... If I remember right, originally I used a Von Grand. So I used two Russian trucks, because I used... I think I used two... I think I used a Tiger and a Von Grand. Thank you. But I did this personally on my own character list. I believe that's what I is. Yeah, I wasn't fucking around with <laughs> this is my own time. I just use fucking Russian trucks and said fuck it. <laughs> I hope they work and they did. Generally I will use American trucks or Canadian in this aspect. I still think this is a Canadian truck. It probably is, but whatever. If it is, it is, if it isn't, eh, I don't really care. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna call it a Canadian truck because it's got the fucking missile sign on. I'm just forever gonna call it a Canadian truck. Okay, but anyway, like I said... Yeah, I did this with... I think the one Grant. Oh god, that was a bitch getting this thing up here. With a crane. And then driving it back with the thing on it. Yes, I just drove the truck with a crane and just drove it up there. Got the thing right by my back. Okay. Well, snow's being a bitch as usual. 
Granted, for the most part, smells just kind of slows you down in this. Kind of what it does, which is pretty much what it does in real life. Fresh, you no, know, especially, it'll just slow you down. It won't really fuck with you that much. It'll mostly just slow you down. I think I see the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, I see the damn thing. My eyes aren't tricking me. I do see the damn thing. How the hell am I gonna get over this? <sighs> Big problem. Well, if I can do it with this truck, I know I can probably do it with the crane truck. Biggest problem with the crane truck is this is this. Not really the weight, but it's just gonna get away. The crane itself is just gonna get in the way. Like, the truck's getting in its own way right now. Like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see if I can't spin that axle a little bit. Come on, come on. There we go. Now you get the trees. Mm -hmm. Gonna kinda have to know how to winch. Mm -hmm. And I'm kinda stuck. That's a shame! Ah, oh, come on, where are you? Oh, come on! Oh, come on! There we go! Come on, come on, come on! Don't be stuck, don't get your tires in it. There we go! There we go! Just do a little bit of, a little bit of work. I got it done. I got it done pretty well. Hello! I think I'm probably close enough to just activate this and then recover the truck. The money is stuck right now, so. I got it! I honestly don't know what that does other than just marks it on the map. Alright, time to recover. Oh, do I drive both of them at the same time, or do I just drive one at a time? I just tell I got the left get on this truck. Uh. Oh god, there's no turning room here! <laughs> Didn't realize that. This is an amazingly fast truck, by the way. Oh, this truck is amazingly fast. Oh, wait, right, actually. Speaking of which, I don't need that on anymore. <laughs> I don't need the high range transmission on this anymore. I'd much prefer the off road on it, actually. But yes, this truck is hilariously fast with the high range transmission. Granted, she got a big ass engine in her, so she should be kind of fast. <laughs> Granted, any kind of twin steer truck like this. I believe Kenworth also makes a twin steer truck similar to this. But I think Kenworth is pretty much international at this point. If I remember, I remember right, Kenworth is pretty much international. Uh, again, I've prized this before, but I don't know my truck brands. <laughs> I know them, but I don't. That's what I should say. And that's not what I want to do, I need to go to their garage again and get a different truck. Uh, garage, where are you? B12, wrong one. That B12. Uh, as long as this differential is automatically locked, you're gonna be in the back. Getting the dairy the longhorn was a bitch, because I had to keep trying to pull the damn thing and I wouldn't fucking start his engine, so eventually I got to start his own engine and it actually started helping. That made the game so much easier. I don't know if the game was just mad at me and didn't want to start the damn thing's engine for some reason or what, but eventually I got it done and that's all I cared. Right during very long run. That made me so happy. <laughs> I mean, just, dear god, it's a forever. I should have recorded that. I'm kind of mad it didn't. I'm honestly kind of mad I didn't record me getting it. That was a not fun to get. It was cool, but it was not fun. <laughs> oh, well, hell, like getting this thing and getting it some of the upgrades I did off camera, but I did it on stream? So it kind of counts as using it on camera? So. Uh. There we go. Alright, putting your truck in high gear is actually not a bad thing to do in the game. I don't care what anybody says, putting your truck in high gear, not a bad thing! Some people say you just shouldn't do it, but it's not that bad of a thing to do, it really isn't. Granted, you burn more fuel if you're just dragging, like I'm doing right now. I'm sure I'm dragging that truck a bit. I think it's technically an A, well, it is an A by it, but it's so spread out that well, it's put spread out because your weight's supposed to spread out because this thing is supposed to pretty much do anything, really. And considering it's an offer to rock in America to begin with. 
What? What are they using? I don't know how they just fuck the truck for everything. They pretty much use this kind of truck for everything. I'm not even kidding about that. They pretty much do. Hell, you can put a crane and a fifth wheel on this thing in real life. And they do it all the damn time. That's a long ass truck. <laughs> Great thing, you're all gonna be using this for specialized legs to begin with, which is what they use for specialization. Yeah, these trucks cost like, I don't know, about a million dollars. About a half a million dollars. <laughs> a million dollars, half a million dollars. <laughs> Depending on how crazy you go with the crap you put on it, which is hilarious and true. I should have seen the same with the P12 and the uh, P16. They put a half a million dollar trucks, but with what they can do and what they're supposed to do, it makes sense. <laughs> so. Actually, I think the P16's a yard truck. It's a rail yard truck. Well, a rail yard and a uh, 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 shipping shipyard truck, I think. For the most part, I don't. Well, no, they do use that thing for logging. Never mind, they use P16 for logging. Never mind. <laughs> if you're a fan of the snow on a Reddit, which I am, there's a picture of a P16, basically, well, what's well, a P16? A P16 carrying, like, logs that are, like, the size of the truck. Like, little, those giant sequoia logs that were, like, the size of the goddamn truck. <laughs> like a picture. And that's what that truck's for! <laughs> And the, I think I have some tail, but I don't know about. They're just heavy, 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 heavy duty tracks. Uh, you figure what they use them for. Logging is a big thing, obviously, that they're using them for because they're fucking big trucks and they can carry anything and they carry anything pretty well on the road. Actually, again, on the snow runner, right? There was a video of a twin steer truck. I don't think it was a Western Star, right? I don't remember what it was, but. Who's the Western Star doing something just like I'm doing right now? Is the Western Star pulling another truck, big, another big truck with uh, logs on it? <laughs> oh, that was funny. Snow Runner Ride is a pretty good place if you're bored and like Snow Runner, obviously. Granted, did my dog get burped? Did my dog get burped? <laughs> okay then. Again, I think. Again, if you just like Reddit in general, Reddit's just a fun place. <laughs> Reddit's just a fun place to be in the internet. Ah, this map is beautiful. The one thing you gotta love about this map, though, is it is beautiful. It's a beautiful map. And I'm waiting to get stuck here. <laughs> oh, I'm just about to get stuck here, aren't I? I attempted to actually use that one Russian truck instead of the twin steer, but I thought it'd be more fun using the twin steer, so. That's why I'm using the twin steer, if you're curious. I'm only using the twin steer because I thought it'd be more fun than using the Russian truck, because I'm pretty sure I can do the Russian truck. I don't know if I can do it with this. <laughs> I think I'm getting pushed. Nah, I'm not getting pushed with it. Ah, I might have been. Ow. I know, I'm pretty sure I'm pulling that thing. And again, I have this truck in front since I can't lock the differentials in that truck. Or, the truck in the back is the differentials, uh, differentials all locked and this one. Switchable. I don't know if that's a real thing in the real life or not, but it's uh, switchable or not, but I don't know. And I would love to know about uh, my tires right now. They're not in the blue for video. <laughs> so fucking true. Come on, pull the truck, pull the truck forward. That's all you can do, you don't need to pull. Come on, pull. Yeah, but you get both individually through it's fine. Can do that. Same time, the truck's gonna testing as a winch point. Honestly, not that bad. I'm gonna take a drop to the load, it'll probably be better. A few mileage, even though there is a few thing out there, but I'd rather not have to make multiple trips. Or have to rescue a truck. So that is the worst thing in the world doing is having to rescue a truck's pack and one of the contracts, so you kind of have to do it. I'm just kind of surprised you can't use... I don't know if you know if you can't use any of the other trailers to actually do the plane mission. Because... I'm surprised you couldn't use this thing, because it's kind of what it's designed for. All big, weird loads, so... But you can't. Granted, you can only carry four with this, but, I mean... Four slots will get you pretty far. <laughs> I mean, what? You can 
carry up sticks is the most you can carry in the game. Unless you could put a funnel hook on this truck, which you should. Which I believe it should have a funnel hook on this truck. Well, this truck should have a funnel hook on it. You know what? You can carry technically eight, <laughs> which would be cool. It'd be kind of funny. You could actually carry an eight thing. Out. No one or dead. I just think you could put a pedal hook, pedal hook hitch on the truck. I'm gonna carry eight things. No, oh. that's not totally overdone. I know they're adding it so you can put a kid, so you can strap your actual truck to the freaking trailer now, which is such a nice feature. Which I'm, which I want so badly, because it would be such a nice feature. Not is a nice feature. It really would be such a nice feature. <laughs> I really want to be able to strap a truck onto this. He held this thing or any other truck. I'm actually kind of coming around to this thing. I kind of like it. Kind of don't like it. Or at least I see. I see that's a good truck in this one. I'm using it. I see that problem just long. That's it. Really, it's just long. <laughs> On that sort of truck, <laughs> like a really good truck. <laughs> Things are fast. Think it's a high range mission now. Like it's. Fast. It's fast. I'm pretty sure it's faster than the NK. <laughs> Just hilarious, by the way. The NK is pretty much one of the fastest trucks in the game, and this thing's faster than it, which is just comically funny. Because look at the thing's size. You wouldn't think this thing's faster than the NK, considering the NK is balls to the walls. <laughs> Granted, this thing is too when you have the higher engine mission and not the alpha engine mission, like I have in it. But this is your funny shell runner. Granted, then again, a lot of the trucks are like that when you have the higher engine mission. There's just balls to the walls. <laughs> Speed racer all of a sudden. <laughs> and in this game, that could be a bad thing. Debatable. Granted, putting the higher engine mission in the highway trucks is actually hilariously fun because. What is it, that Ford highway truck? That truck it can actually in that interaction that international highway truck too. Oh, this is bad. Not gonna burn it, get them both down by myself. And I'm gonna make it daytime. But that inter that one international that international cab over highway truck, that thing can actually go off really <laughs> well, especially with the highway transmission in it. It's really funny. Oh, you just had to go on that damn rock. And I don't know if I'm gonna go anywhere. Oh, fuck! I might be very stuck here. I don't know what I'm stuck. Well, I'm stuck on my rock, but hmm. There's that tree, but that's just gonna do that. Oh. Uh, If I use the twin steer and pull it to the left, I could probably get it out. Or half it's push it with the fucking twin steer. So yeah, that's another option. Oh, this is bound to happen eventually. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Put that one that would help. I don't know if that's gonna help or not, but hey, it doesn't look like I'm going anywhere. Oh, no, no, I was zooming. I was zooming slightly. Alright, I got you out of that, and I can get you out. Got you off that rock, probably get you. Fuck this up now. There we go. Ah, the bumper was probably stuck on a fucking rock or something. Guarantee it. Actually, I'm pretty much. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the bumper was just stuck on my fucking rock over there. Alright, go on to the stairs. Look up to her. There we go. You'd be nice with that. Which is stayed if you're changing between two of the same tru trucks that were already changed into each other. You'd be nice if they stayed up together. Yeah, it would be. Oh. I don't know where I'm gonna park this. I think he's gotta go places, but I don't know where I'm gonna park this. Hmm. Fuck something out. Oh, you do probably need fuel though. I think 
think it'll make you to that checkpoint that I made over there, so I probably should have fueled all the trucks up. Yeah, I didn't think we could do that. Mm. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, you'll probably just stay down here, and, uh, if you need fuel, you know what? I'll go drive you to that fuel thing over there, but I don't think you're going to need it, so. We're just not gonna do that. I guess why I'm driving both trucks here is because this is easier to cross down here than it is to cross over there. <laughs> and it's a lot less scary, too. Oh, you know what? You're just stuck right here for now. Oh, where's the engine? Where are you, Mark? Yeah, this thing's freaking huge, by the way. Actually, the engine both are huge. <laughs> Trucks have very similar engines in them. Very similar, as I should say. No, it's not the same in real life. They're very similar. They're similar enough that you could pretty much swap this mount and they almost be identical. Almost. Did I put a light bar on the other piece? I don't know if I did or not. I think I did. I'm just gonna deal with it easy. Holy shit, this thing used no fuel. That thing used a shit ton. Yeah, I'll probably just, once I get the both the uh, other drugs, why can't I go- Oh, There we go. Right. Probably what I'll do, end up doing is I'll probably transfer the fuel from this truck into the other truck, because it's probably gonna need it more than this truck, because I could probably just recover this truck. I'm probably just gonna end up recovering with one, and that one's not gonna really need it. So, granted I could. I think it's a tunnel account, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I could probably just pull that thing down, down there, do that, but I kind of like where it is. God, I've been there. Uh, speaking of fuel, might as well get it now instead of having to get it later and being dead on the side of the road. Oh, what if? Pretty sure that uh, fuel tank at the airport is like half full. <laughs> because of how many times I've driven there and flipped trucks over? I almost guarantee that thing's like half full now. Or it's either half full or under half full now. Which <laughs> is funny. I find it funny because it just shows how much I've failed on this. Or failed and succeeded at the same time. And I really don't want to get stuck on a tree right now. And I'm still stuck on a tree. Wrong tree to fall from. Turn me! Thank you, Inch! Once you see it's just the best turning tool you have, it really is. <laughs> it's one of the best turning tools you have. <sighs> That's just generous you know, right now. Imagine most people know that. No problem with crane is how much weight this thing adds. Because this truck's already heavy. But with how much more weight the damn crane has. Uh Oh yeah, I never check as my lucky diamond. I remember to put my lucky diamond in every truck. Put it in every truck. <laughs> every truck is a lucky diamond. Don't know why it's a lucky diamond, look up my look at my banner very <laughs> Look at that if you wanna know why. Okay. Please don't flip over, please don't. Just just don't. And you flipped over. I hate you. I fucking hate you. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna cut this short and I'm probably just gonna put this two together, but I'm tired of life and I wanna go to bed. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed. Fuck this. I'm tired. I won't go to bed. I'll probably redrive this truck down here off camera, but yeah, I'll probably do that, but or a different truck with a crane on it, whatever I do, but, which actually I might do because it'll be lower to the ground truck honestly, wait, well, let's just look real fast, can I put a crane on this truck? I think I can I can I'm probably gonna use this truck <laughs> instead of the P12 because it's lower to the ground and I'm also gonna fall over but, I hope you're enjoying this because this is pretty much just me going insane is gonna end up being me going insane, but again, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, comment down below why you enjoyed or any tips or tricks, because I probably end up needing them. 
And uh, subscribe if you want to watch me do more of this shit. So, and share around with people because this is kind of a. <laughs> I don't think anybody's doing this kind of a series because I'm the only one insane enough to try it. So, bye bye. Mm -hmm.